Now we're going to show you how you test through the top check back water valve. Simply remove the clean out. We have some components that we introduce into testing the uh, top check. Of course, you use your standard ball, fill hose, and we are introducing a clean out seal. As you can see, seal. And we have a strainer catcher plug. Okay. Testing through the top check is fairly easy as you can see. What you do is you take this, hose first, into the outlet side of the valve. As you can see now, I'm under the gate and I'm gonna slide it into the inlet side of the valve. Okay. Now what I need to do is I need to install my strainer catcher plug. Just simply slide in like so into the outlet. And then I've got my cleanup seal. I bring that up to the valve itself. I screw it in and I pressure test. After my test is complete, I deflate the, the air. The ball will move forward. As you can see, the ball will move forward. Once the ball is moved forward, all the water is allowed to drain through that drain port. All the water leaves the drain port. The water will fill this cavity, but none will come out because we have a sealed cap. After all the water is drained, continue to deflate the ball back to its normal size. Open up your clean out. Slide that forward. Now that the ball is forward, you have to slide it back into the inlet side. And then you just ease your strainer plug out of the valve and out. Slide your valve forward. The ball goes forward. Up and out. And then what you want to do, you want to just do a quick check after you're done. If it moves like that, the valve is perfectly fine. If it doesn't move, if the hinge comes off, just simply just push it back down and that's your test. As you can see, we have about a four foot head on this. That's great for groundworks. And basically all you do to release it, let the air out. As you can see, the water goes into the outlet there. Nobody gets wet. And simply what you do with this, All the air is deflated out of the ball. Slide it back into the inlet. Take out your strainer plug. Put your ball forward, back, and up and out of the unit. So you can see this strainer plug there is going to stop the test ball from going through, and it's going to let the water drain. We got a, a 25 foot head of uh, water there. I'm going to release it now. By simply releasing the air out of the ball. All the system is drained. Once the system is drained, make sure all your air is out of that ball. And then you can open up your clean out. And you will push your ball back into the outlet. In, sorry, into the inlet. You will pull your strainer plug out. Get all your hairs out of your ball. You bring it back to normal size. Then you pull it forward. And up and out. Just check everything's working right. Perfect. If it, if it doesn't want to go down like that, make sure that the hinge is on. But this is a good operating valve and your test is done.